टुडे आई एल हेल्प यू मेक योर वेबसाइट स्टैंड आउट बाय एडिंग दिस प्रीमियम टच टू योर टेक्स्ट एंड इमेजेस ऑन द साइट सो इफ आई स्क्रोल डाउन द इमेजेस मूव पैरेलल टू इच अदर एंड द टेक्स्ट बिकम्स बोल्डर एंड ग्रोज लाइक दिस एंड इफ आई स्क्रोल अप द इमेजेस नाउ मूव इन द अपोजिट डायरेक्शन एंड द टेक्स्ट बिकम्स थिनर एंड थिनर यू कैन यूज एनी फॉन्ट हियर डिसाइड द थिकनेस एंड पोजिशन ऑफ द टेक्स्ट एंड पुट एनी इमेज यू वॉन्ट This is an incredible way to highlight your headings and gallery making viewers stay on your website longer. Making this is super easy. We will only use Elementor for this. We will first create a layout for the text and images and then use Gsap code to create the scroll trigger effect. So, let's do it. All right, let's start by adding a full width container. So, click here. Select this and change it to full width. Set it to down so it stacks vertically. With a minimum height of 100 vh to cover the whole viewport, keep the padding at zero here to remove any extra spacing around our layout. Next, inside this container, add another full width container like this. Set the gaps between rows and columns to this. Next, head over to Advanced Settings and assign it a CSS ID Marquee Row. All right. Next, we'll add a full width container again. and rename it to row from the navigator now go to advanced and unlink the padding to remove spaces scroll down and give it a css id scroll dash row all right this first row will house our images and text giving the content that flowing forward moving effect on scroll let's start filling it up inside this container add a new full width container and rename it to column give it zero padding and insert a large image so drop in an image widget and choose an image from here give this column the css id scroll dash image don't worry all these css ids will make sense after we add our html code adding css id is important because it will connect to the code and create that scroll effect next we need to add the text But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before, and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this, and I'll leave the link in the description below. So duplicate this container as many times as you want, but for me, I'll duplicate it four times. Select the main container. Set it to row, so they align like this. Now to add our text, select any of these containers. Okay, I'll choose the middle one. Select it. Go to the navigator and delete the image. From the left, add a text editor widget like this. Awesome. Now remember, this is a text field, so we need to change the CSS ID of the container. So select the container. with the text and from advanced tab change the css id to scroll dash text okay now we need to customize this text but in a different way so select your text editor here delete the default text choose text from this tab and here is the tricky part you need to add span tag for each letter let's say you want to write nike so i'll use four span tags got it no let me show you put a span tag like this followed by closed span tag now i want to write limited which has seven letters now between these tags i'll put the first letter which is l for the next letter i'll copy and paste it like this and change the letters in between let's follow the same for the whole word and done now let's style it go to the style tab and change the alignment color font and size from the left side select the text editor container and justify the content to the center now go ahead and change these images in the row i'll change mine and this is how it looks now all we need to do is duplicate this row as many times as we want and change images and text for each new row let's do that quickly and this is how it will look now it's time to add a scroll trigger so go here add a new container drop in a html widget remove the padding then 
go to the description, copy the code, come back and paste the GSAP code here. Now select the main container, which has all the other containers. Go to advanced, scroll down to CSS section and add this CSS code here. Awesome. Let's save the changes and see how it looks. Ooh, looks smooth and premium. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your site speed in just one minute. You're really going to thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.